Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday plan with me. I hope you all had a really lovely week. So this week I'm using a kit from the Hummingbird Planner. I haven't used one of her kits before. You can find her on Etsy and I'll leave her link down in the description box. This was called the Retro School and it was a deluxe kit. I wasn't keen on the washi so I decided not to include it in this week's spread and I just because I knew I had a lot of things happening throughout the week, lots of little things, I wanted to create a little bit more space so I moved the date covers up to the top to cover the large numbers. If you're using an Erin Condren planner you can still use this technique as well. I don't think I've ever done this in my planner before. Um, I was definitely trying it out but it worked so you could use it in your planner if you wanted to create just a little bit more space. So underneath the date covers I put my to-do headers. And then as I said last week, I'm going to be putting all of the checklists at the top. And I spoke to some of you in the comments and you were saying that that's what you do and it just makes it a lot more organized for you. And I totally agree, especially when I'm going to be doing lots of little things throughout the week. I'm gonna be planning it this way, but I will be going back to how I normally plan when I've done all of my shop updates. I had a little issue putting this checklist down. I don't know if any of you have ever had one of those stickers that no matter how many times you pull it up and stick it down, it goes back in exactly the same place. So I just switched it out for a brand new one and I kept hold of the other one and I'll use that later in my sidebar. So once I've finished putting all the checklists in, we can go in day by day. So on Monday, it's my cousin's birthday, so I used one of the half boxes and I used some of the matching washi behind it. And I put down one of the birthday puppets from the birthday part two and just wrote down Charlotte birthday. I also need to upload this plan with me and now's a good time to show you my last uh, new releases so you can get these in two different fonts these are the youtuber or creator sheets and then I also done a clean organized and tidy which again you can choose between two different fonts so if you like script stickers then definitely check out my shop put down my full box I put a quarter box down as I've got a hospital appointment and I use one of the doctor puppets At the end, I just want to make sure that all my children do their homework and then we can move on to Tuesday. So for Tuesday, my daughter has an English exam, so I just marked that down on a quarter box and the stack of books is from Strawberry Lime Designs. I put this full box down, which I thought kind of matched perfectly as she has got an exam. And then underneath that, I put a half box as my broiler man is coming back and it's in the afternoon. I do want to have a good clean as well, so I took a poppet from the Home Life sheet and just put down one of my clean script stickers. And then I've also got some Happy Mail due and of course I'll be watching Gilmore Girls. For Wednesday I put down another quarter box and stack of books as my daughter's got her physics exam. I've got some more Happy Mail due, so I used a piece of the wide patterned washi and the Happy Mail sticker from the kit. I put down a full box and then underneath there I put another piece of washi to remind myself to sit down and have a cup of tea and just chill out with some me time. After that I want to do some designing so I put down a half box with a poppet on the PC or a PC poppet and wrote down design and then I'll be watching Gilmore Girls while I design. Then I went back and just added the dates along the top and filled in all of my checklists. I then remembered that I saw a little car icon in the kit so I just used that to mark down that we need to get some petrol. I like trying to find little icons in the kit that I can use on my checklist because I just like the way it looks. 
And then moving on to Tuesday, I wrote down my little checklist again. I'm thinking about starting to include some mini kits in my shop. Let me know if you are interested in mini kits down in the comments. And I'm also going to be looking for some PR girls or a PR team very soon. So if you are interested in working with me, then you should definitely keep an eye out on my Instagram because I will announce it on there. So for Wednesday, I took the workout sticker that comes with the kit and then filled in the rest of my to-dos. And then I flipped it over to the other side of the week and just done exactly the same thing filled out all of the dates at the top and then I filled out my checklist for Thursday so Thursday is going to be a little bit of a hit and miss day I'm not sure if it's going to go according to everything that I'm writing down but I put another quarter box down as my daughter has two exams on this day she has her maths exam and another RS exam I then put down a family header and a half box as my sister is going into hospital on this day. She's going to have her C-section to have her little baby. Kind of all depends how that goes and where I am and what I'm doing if Thursday actually turns out to plan. I was looking for something to mark having the baby but there wasn't anything so I just took one of the little baby puppets. I put down a full box and then underneath there I'm just going to be taking up the day watching TV so I'm not as nervous <laughs> waiting for the baby. The TV shows that I will probably binge is Gilmore Girls, I'm on the last season, kind of don't want it to end but I need to know what happens. And then I've got two TV, other TV shows on which is Rain which I've spoken about before and another one called Rain but spelt as in the royal rain. I haven't watched it yet but apparently it's really good and it's on Netflix. At the bottom I decided to put a half box and I just write down it's a and then I'll be able to fill it in whether my sister has a girl or a boy. So moving on to Friday I just started by filling out my to-do list at the top. I could feel that my pen was starting to run out but I just wanted it to stretch out until the end of the spread. It's also the last day of term for my children so I took one of the extra long page flags and a little happy poppet just to mark that down. My daughter has another exam on this day so I put another quarter box and a stack of books. She has her English exam. I put a little icon down on Thursday because I'd forgotten to mark down that my green bins go out and then I just put down my full box. Underneath there I've got some more Happy Mail juice so I took another quarter box and a little parcel or box from the icons in the kit and just wrote down Happy Mail. We also want to have a little bit of a movie night with the children so I just put a piece of washi down and a movie night sticker which was from the kit and then of course I want to film next week's plan with me. So moving on to Saturday, this is where my pen just completely dried up and did not want to work. So I just switched back to my fountain pen, which you guys have seen me use this before. And I just filled out all of my checklist for Saturday. I put down my weekend banner and then I needed to mark down that we've got a payday so I just took a quarter box and a little payday sticker from the payday poppets. I want to edit the video so I put down my edit script from my shop and also one of the PC poppets. I put down a little half box with a laptop symbol as my children will need to revise and do all of their homework. block off some time I just put down a full box and then at the bottom I put down a TV little thing which is rain but we might even go out and see the new baby and then on Sunday I just started to write down my usual kind of Sunday bits that I like to get done and then I realized the children aren't at school so I don't need to get their bags ready or polish their shoes so I just put down no school to actually remind myself and then I just carried on with everything else. I 
And then as my weekend banner was already down, I moved on and put a piece of washi down just to cover up the pink line and then a half box. And I used one of the drawing pins. These are such cute stickers. I don't think I've ever seen a little tiny drawing pin before, but I just needed to write down that I needed to find my children's birth certificates and my pen ran out. I think I was just having an issue with pens today. Put down a full box and then I used another one of the extra long page flags and put down family time and I also used one of my family poppets. I used my last full box at the top and as I've been working out I want to track my hydrate so I used one of my hydrate stickers from my shop and then I want to use a habit tracker which will be for Instagram and then to separate that I just use a piece of patterned washi and then put down my next week section. I also wanted to include a to buy section this week so I just put that down with a to buy header and then split those two up with another piece of patterned washi. I used the little credit card icon from the kit and also the camera icon. As there's no deco with this kit that's it for this week's spread, here's everything that I've got left. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's spread, I really love the colours and I'm really happy that I put all of the checklists at the top. If you did like it then make sure you give me a thumbs up, if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you all have a really lovely week and I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys!